Protecting me from death, keeping me from harm. O Lord, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You guard me from the foe, and you lead me in ways everlasting. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, we gather here on this Monday of the, I want to say now it's the fifth week of Ordinary Time. As we gather here today, we rejoice in God's love for us. Let me just make sure we are the fifth week of Ordinary Time. And we also celebrate the feast of St. Paul Miki and his companions, who were martyred in Japan. As we gather here today, we rejoice in God's love for us, and we seek the Lord's mercy and forgiveness. Let us pray. O God, strength of all the saints, who through the cross were pleased to call the martyrs, St. Paul Miki and companions, to life, grant, we pray, that by their intercession, we may hold with courage even until death to the faith we profess. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless wasteland. The darkness covered the abyss, while a mighty wind swept over the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw how good the light was. Then God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. Then evening came, and morning followed the first day. Then God said, Let there be a dome in the middle of the waters to separate one body of water from the other. And so it happened. God made the dome, and it separated the water above from the dome from the water below it. God called the dome the sky. Evening came, and morning followed the second day. Then God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered into a single basin so that the dry land may appear. And so it happened. The water under the sky was gathered into his basin. The dry land appeared. God called the dry land the earth, and the basin of the water he called the sea. God saw how good it was. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth vegetation, every kind of plant that bears seed, and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with a seed in it. And so it happened. The earth brought forth every kind of plant that bears seeds, and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with seed in it. God saw how good it was. Evening came, and morning followed the third day. Then God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate day from night. Let them mark the fixed times, the days and the years, and serve as luminaries in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth. And so it happened. God made the two great lights, the greater one to govern the day, the lesser one to govern the night, and he made the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth, to govern the day and the night, to separate the light from the darkness. God saw how good it was. Evening came, and morning followed the fourth day. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
May the Lord be glad in all his works. May the Lord be glad in his works. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. May the Lord be glad in his works. You fix the earth upon its foundations, not to be moved forever. With the ocean as a garment, you covered it. Above the mountains, the waters stood. May the Lord be glad in all his work. You send forth springs into the water courses and winds among the mountains. Besides them, birds of the heaven dwell. From among the branches, they send forth their song. May the Lord be glad in all his works. How manifold are your works, O Lord. In wisdom you have wrought them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Alleluia. May the Lord be glad in all his works. Alleluia. Alleluia. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After making the crossing to the other side of the sea, Jesus and his disciples came to the land at Gennaraset and tied up there. As they were leaving the boat, people immediately recognized him. They scurried about the surrounding country and began to bring in the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. Whatever villages or towns or countryside he entered, they laid the sick in the marketplaces. They begged him that he might, they might touch only the tassel on his cloak, and as many as touched it were healed. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our first reading today, we hear about the first creation story. And we hear about how God loved so much that from him he created the world. And he created the world out of nothingness, that there was nothing until God said, let it be. And God created light. And he separated the light from the darkness. Then God created the earth, and God created the sea, and then he created that which separated the earth and the sea. The waters above, the waters below, created every living creature and vegetation. And did you notice that after God created everything, God looked and he said how good it was. As we continue this week, we will hear even to the creation of humanity. And once again, God would look and saw how good it was. That is the moment of innocence of the earth, when all things are within harmony of one another. But eventually sin would enter into the world and it will corrupt everything that God has created, everything that God had made Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Paul Miki and his command companions. Paul Miki was born in Japan around 1565. He entered into the Society of Jesus, what we know as the Jesuits, and there was a great Christianity trying to proclaim the gospel in Japan. And he tried to do that to his countrymen, and he won many people to the faith. But eventually persecution would begin from the emperor. And eventually, Paul Miki and 25 others 
were tortured, and eventually they were crucified in a mockery of Jesus' crucifixion. They were crucified at Nagasaki on February 5th in 1597. We realize that much of the faith that you and I share has been fertilized by the blood of the martyrs. Their witness that they gave their lives for the name of Jesus should give us strength in order to be faithful to the Lord and not ever to be afraid. As we continue to pray today, let us think of all those Christians who are persecuted for their faith, those who perhaps are in prison, those who are persecuted right here in our own country, being laughed at because they believe. The persecution of Christians has not stopped. In fact, in our so-called free world, it is intensified among the believers. And many believers then cower and are afraid to stand up. Let us ask the Lord today to have that courage, to be able to stand up for our faith and our belief in Jesus Christ as not only our Savior, but the Savior of the world. <coughs> Excuse me. With confidence in God's love, we approach Him with our needs and the needs of our world. For missionaries serving in foreign lands, may God grant them strength and compassion and fortify them in ministry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in working to bring about peace and to serve the needs of all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer because of natural disasters or from the cold, may the Lord provide what they need to restore them to health and wholeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the continued blessings of God upon us, his faithful people, and our efforts to share the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and suffering, lonely, oppressed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died marked with the sign of faith, may they soon rejoice in God's presence for all eternity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for your needs and your intentions that we bring to our Heavenly Father in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Taking these prayers, lifting them up to our Heavenly Father, let us pray as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Heavenly Father, look with favor on us, your children, and hear the prayers we ask you this day. Answer them according to your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Where can I run from your love? If I climb to the heavens, you are there. If I fly to the sunrise or sail beneath the sea, still I find you there. O oh Lord, I know you are near, standing always at my side. 
guard me from the foe, and you lead me in ways everlasting.